All right, we're back. What we're going to do this time is I got the shocks off. We rebuilt them on the last video. So we're going to open these up. As you can tell, I've been doing a lot of running on here. and This has been well used on the rocks. And I got a little, little slop in here. We're going to see if we can do something about that. And, of course, check it for uh, maintenance. We hadn't been in here in a while. I still had these out from when the shocks were off. these are entity dry shafts and I can tell you this from experience one thing I like is they went to the bigger two millimeter pin but you definitely 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 got to use Loctite on these or they just fall apart but the only bad thing about these let's see if I can get up here is this little clip right here, if you catch it on a rock, will come out and everything fall apart. I wasn't too impressed with that, but it is what it is. blow these off real quick. I'm sure my air compressor is going to turn on and make a bunch of noise so let me do that off camera. I'll be right back. Alright. We're back and we got this all blown off and cleaned up. Let's take off these lockers. Bearings seem good. I don't hear nothing crunched around, so we won't take that apart. Thing. Looks like the bearings are all good on that, so I won't tear that apart either. This hook right here is just a toe spot. Or like if you want to do a pull or pull somebody out. That's also a level three RC piece.
be there if that hook. Works real well too. I love the level RC, level 3 RC products. The only problem I have with them is most of the stuff they send you, you don't get instructions, so you gotta kind of fumble around until you figure it out. Which isn't, you know, too awful bad, but sometimes it, I got their pan hard kit on one of mine, and it sure would have been nice if I'd have had some instructions on how to put that on. I had to take it apart three or four times. Well the one thing I can see is it's pretty dry on grease. The bearings look alright. Pretty dry though. So we'll definitely fix that. Alright, well give me a second, I'm going to take these outside, hit them with some motor cleaner, clean out the, the nasty. Yeah, these were pretty dry as far as I like them. They're probably the right amount for what they gave you on the kit. I like a little more grease, tighten it up just a little bit more. It also helps take out some of that slop. So give me a minute to spray these down. And I'll be right back. Alright. We got them all cleaned out. We checked the bearings. I could shim this just a tiny bit. But I don't believe I'm going to bother. So what I'm going to do now is put some white lithium grease in here. That's what I prefer. And uh, what I like to do is I've taken a syringe. Put a little bit in there. Just makes it easier to get on the, the gears. Grease it up pretty good. And I just put a little dab on either side. And we'll put her back together. Everything spins good. Whoopsie. Stuck in the wrong screw. Put that thing long.
this hook I got in there makes it a little different to put together than normal. But I like the look of it. If I ever need to hook somebody up to tow them out, it's hooked right to the to the axle itself, so you're technically right there on the, the tires. Imagine if you've taken these apart as many times as I have or built as many kits. You know these top screws here are the big thread screws in your locker or the fine thread. Get these are plastic, so you don't want to over tighten. You want to make sure everything turns. Before I tighten them up too much, I like to make sure. I think the other screw in so in case something's got to move a little bit. Alright, and last thing you want to make sure everything spins freely. Still got a little bit of play in there, but it doesn't feel like a lot. Got a tiny bit in here, but I think that's just the design of the locker. Okay, well that's it for the rear axle. I'm going to take apart the front axle and everything, so that'll basically be the same thing. There ain't no sense in watching that, so we'll get this back together and put the shocks back on the rear. up out of the way. I do want to upgrade these upper links to aluminum links. Uh, there's so many other upgrades I haven't had any problems with these 
So I was just saving them until I got around to it. This one was due for maintenance. I beat the hell out of this truck. I hate to admit it, but this is my rock crawler and I don't give it any mercy. I hate that you can't get this kit anymore. It's starting to get pretty rough on the body. I'm hoping I might have to break down and buy me another body just so I'll have it for when I do destroy this one because I'm sure it's coming because this thing tumbles down everything not that it doesn't crawl well but it crawls great it's just I, I'm not afraid to take it up or down or anything About that I never had that happen to me before I had the camera come out and say I was full <laughs> I haven't deleted anything off of it in a while forget what I told you about thread lock things will come right out if you don't. Alright. Well, there's the back. It's hard to spin these things with two motors. But I 
ahead and stick it. There you go. Back tires on. Got to watch it with mine because I got my front tires weighted. Shocks are working good now. I can feel the dampening on them. The rear end's nice. It seems a little bit tighter. Got a little slot by the time you get through the light, tiny bit here, tiny bit there, tiny bit there. But all in all, it's pretty good. All right. Well, that's it for part two of the maintenance of this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the front one. There ain't no sense in watching that. You know, then maybe we'll open the check it around and see what else we can find. Alright, till next time, thanks for watching. So please like, please share, and please comment. Alright, bye.